Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution to discuss a uh, video on, on the latest per calculator we made. It's called Percentage Calculator. You can go to percentcalculator.com. It's a pretty straightforward calculator. Uh, it's it's pretty it's for simple calculations, but like stuff like this with percentages. But it's basically if you don't want to overthink or you want to find out percentages of, of various numbers, it's really easy to use and it's it's just much quicker than using a calculator because you don't need to th overthink anything. So for example, if you want to go find 13% of 17, well we know with this calculation basically you would have to if you had a regular calculator you go 13, 13 over 100 times it by 17, plug that in a calculator, or you could just drag my uh, percent calculator in. Yeah, so here's the, the calculator here, if we were to go 13 over 17, I'm 13% 13 of 17, so I have it over here, percentcalculator.com. So you just type it in, I, I basically typed in exactly what the calculator has so far. So you can go, let's say 13% of 17, that's there you go, 2.21, it's automatically calculates. You can press uh, shift tab to, I mean, press tab to go forward and shift tab to go backwards. So that's tab and there's shift tab. So you could change it around 17 is 2.55. So let's go 57.5. So it's really quick. So if you wanted to see with the calculator, you can just plug in over here, then write uh, 13 divided by 100 times it by 17. So there's that 2, 2.21. That's the same one as before as writing 13. Over 17, so 2.21. So same thing as putting in the calculator or using, or using Google Calculator, etc. But this is just much faster, and it stays there, and it automatically changes. Yeah. So here I've written this down over here. This is just basically to double check that the calculator is right. And now you could also write uh, this one. So the good thing about the calculator, it, it calculates uh, it's basically with a sentence, so at everyday use. Let's say like 18 is what percent uh, is, is basically is what percent of let's say uh, 25. Yeah, this one's another easy one. You can just plug in 18 over 25 in a calculator. Uh, you should get the same answer as this, or you can just go 18, 25. And the thing is that you can just shift back and forth, change it. So 72%, so you go 17, 68, so the stuff like that. And once again, you could even go to Google Calculator, double check, 25 equals 72. So that's, uh, and then you got times by 100. So, seven, so there you go, 72%. Yeah, so good to get back here. So again, you'd have times by 100 here. You'll get 72%. So you can plug with the calculator, but you just have to do uh, just a bit a bit extra. And then this one here, if you want to go, uh, a number is basically, uh, let's for example, let's say 16 is, what, 25% of what? So to solve this one, um, you would basically, yeah, you would have to go 25% or, or basically, so I'll just write it as a percent. So 25 over 100 times it by, let's say, a number x equals to 16. So you just have to flip this around, and you're going to get, now you're going to get x is equal to 16 over 25 times it by 100. Yeah, so it's, it's really useful for, uh, the calculator is really useful for calculations like this where you don't have to just think too much and just switch it around, especially when you're doing your taxes or just other random stuff. So now you can just go plug that in over here, 16 is 25% of 64. Yeah, so it's 64, and again, you could always change the number and it'll automatically update, or you could go over here now, 16, there you go, it is 64, just to double check. Then here I just wrote 64 down just to double, just to, just for a check of the answer of the calculator. So that, that's all correct. And now the last one, increase, decrease from a number, let's say you wanna go from 13 to the 17, what is the percent increase in this? Well, if you were to calculate this one out, this is an increase and it's gonna be, let's say from, it's gonna be a 17 minus 13 divided by 13, and then you're gonna to have to times it by a hundred. Yeah, so that's the calculation you would have to do, and this would equal to, well, let's just plug it into the calculator. Let's go from 13 to 17, so 30.77, or what was over here, if you write in this calculator, 13, actually I mean bracket 17 minus 13 divided by 13 times it by 100. Yeah, 30.7, yeah, 77, so exactly this one right over there. Then here I've written 30.77. So basically the this percent calculator is a really quick like web app that you could just f easily solve this without thinking too much about the math here. You could just plug it in as, as you would in a sentence. So you increase 13 to 17. That's just 
30.77%, you could do it much quicker than having to think about it here and then uh, plug in the calculator and you might make a mistake, etc. Anyways, that's all for today. You can download these notes um, in the link below and also uh, make sure to check out this percent calculator. It's just a really handy tool for just, just thinking about percentages and even tips and uh, for, for doing it, for calculating tips when you're at a restaurant, etc. Uh, and stuff like that. Anyways, that's all for today and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.